Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today we are going to see the review of Dark Realm for Nexus 5. Dark ROM is based on CM14.1. So this is gonna be my first CM based ROM review for Android Nougat. Although CM14 is in its initial stage, I find this ROM very stable to do an in-depth review. Also this ROM is known for bringing almost all the pixel features to your Nexus 5. So let's check it out. So first, we are gonna go into settings and check out the Android version. And it's Android 7.1.1. Also, it is based on latest CM14.1 CAF Nightlies. And the default kernel for this ROM is the modified version of TrueSight kernel. So I am providing this review after using this ROM for more than 2 weeks. This review is gonna divide into 4 parts. Installation, battery performance, features and customization options and the last one is my final thoughts about this ROM. So let's begin with the installation process. As this ROM is based on CAF, TWRP for CAF recovery is recommended. But you can also flash this ROM with standard TWRP recovery. Now go to this XDA page for dark ROM. Here you will find the basket build link for dark ROM. Now on this page you will find the latest ROM file and the bank's dynamic G apps for dark ROM. You have to get these both files. After downloading both the files, head to recovery and flash the ROM file and the gapps file one after another. And that's it, you will have dark ROM installed on your device. Now one thing to mention, this ROM is not pre-rooted. So you will have to flash latest super SU in order to obtain root. I will put the link for latest super SU along with the ROM's XDA page in the description below. Now let's check out the battery performance of dark ROM. Now as this ROM is based on CAF, there are no custom kernels available for CAF except for TrueSight kernel. But this ROM already has customized version of TrueSight kernel. So you are going to see the battery stats for default kernel only. No custom kernels in this review. So as always the battery stats are taken after minimum 4 charge cycles. So here are the battery stats for stock kernel. Now the stock kernel is slightly tweaked toward performance. So battery life on this ROM is kind of average. I got nearly 3 hours of SOT every time. But as compared to other Nougat ROM I tested, I think 3 hours of SOT can be considered as good battery stat. Also there are lots of options available to tweak your battery performance under battery saver and performance option. All the battery stats that I am showing you are taken under balance profile. So you can change the performance profile as per your choice to maximize the battery performance. Uh, also there is an option of automatic optimization which selects appropriate battery profile as per your daily usage of the device. So you can play with these settings to get maximum use out of your device. Now let's check out the customization options available on dark ROM. So let's go into settings. Under display settings you will find the options for live display which changes the color temperature of the screen as per the time of the day. Then there is the expanded desktop option for getting immersive experience. Then you can select the screenshot type to full screen or partial. So in partial mode, you can select specific part of a screen for screenshot. Then under settings menu, you will find the buttons option where you can customize different options like left handed mode, arrow keys while typing buttons layout, different actions for navigation keys, also you can customize your power menu here. Then there are some options to customize your volume rocker actions such as volume rocker wake, playback control etc. Then under settings menu you will find status bar. Here you can customize options like clock style, AMPM style, battery status style, network traffic indicator, double tap to sleep on status bar notification count and many more. Then there is separate section for ambient display in settings menu. 
here you can choose between different settings for ambient display. Personally, I like to keep it off as it is a battery drainer. Then there is the option of privacy. Here you can manage which apps can have access to your personal data and also you can lock some apps with your password or pattern. Then there is the option for system profile to choose different profile for different scenarios. So these are the customization options available on Darkroom. Now let's take a look at pixel features provided by Darkroom. So the ROM has pixel launcher, wallpaper picker, pixel boot animation, pixel round icons. Then it also has pixel style, notification panel and settings menu with blue accents. And one last thing which you can't find on any other ROM that is pixel animated navigation bar. So you will get this animation when you long press on home button. Now Google Assistant is not there, but you can always flash it manually and get the total pixel experience with this ROM. So this ROM checks nearly all the pixel features. Now in theme department, there are no options available right now on this ROM. As CM theme engine is not implemented till now, also there is no OMS support for Substratum. So it is kind of broken on this ROM. So I will suggest to stay away from Substratum on this ROM. But in coming days, the CM theme engine should be there. So we have to keep patience till then. Now it's time for my final thoughts about dark ROM. So I am gonna divide this into pros and cons for this ROM. So let's begin with pros. First thing is performance. The ROM is buttery smooth. The performance on this ROM is top notch. Back in Marshmallow days, I never find any huge difference in performance between CAF and non-CAF build. But here in this ROM, I can surely feel the difference with CAF build. I would say this ROM feels very smooth and fluid even more than fake Nexus ROM. Then second thing is great gaming and multitasking performance. Gaming on this ROM is very good experience even with some of the heavy games. Also the multitasking especially with multi window mode is very fluid and good experience. Then third thing is good customization options. With this ROM you will get wide range of customization options to play with. Then the fourth thing is almost all pixel features. So this ROM includes nearly all the pixel features except Google Assistant. Then fifth is stable daily driver. This ROM is very good to use as a daily driver. Everything works perfectly on this ROM. Then sixth is seamless update process. As this ROM has open delta update system, it will provide you seamless and hassle free update experience. Also this ROM is very prompt in terms of latest updates. Now let's move towards the coin part. The only downside of this ROM is the average battery life. As this ROM is leaned toward performance, battery life is kind of average. Other than that, I am really impressed with the ROM. This ROM checks nearly all the boxes to become a perfect ROM. So if you want to give a try to CM 14.1 based ROM, then you must install the dark ROM. So with this, I am gonna wrap my review of dark ROM for Nexus 5. Let me know your thoughts about the dark ROM and this video in the comments below. And smash on that like button below if you find this video informative. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more such video. You can follow me on Google Plus, Twitter and Facebook. Thank you for watching my video. I will see you in my next video.